Ugh. You know what? I cannot take this anymore. After what has going on for the past few months and years, I am now detesting Jordan and his friends, also known as the Randolph Valley Troublemakers, for good this time, and I mean, permanently, because they've been getting away with their childish behavior as a big entitled Ken, Karen and a huge Mary Sue to my gang and the cheer girls. There you are Molly. I have been looking everywhere for you. What's the matter? Is there something wrong with you or anything? Victoria, I just wanted to say that, never in my life that I totally wanted to spit this out, but this will totally shock you brutally. It is about Jordan McFarland and his friends, also known as the Randolph Valley Troublemakers. What is it Molly? What's the most shocking thing that you are trying to say about the Randolph Valley Troublemakers? I mean, you can tell me anything about them. It's not like I'll be furious or anything. I have been fearing the dark true colors of Jordan McFarland and his friends of Randolph Valley, also known as the Randolph Valley Troublemakers. Molly, can you say it louder? I can't even hear you. I have been hearing the dark true colors of Jordan McFarland and his friends of Randolph Valley, also known as the Randolph Valley Troublemakers. I don't believe it. I'm totally stunned right now. Molly, you must be serious. Yes, I am dead serious about it, Victoria. It's true, and I mean 100%. I have been hearing the dark true facts about Jordan McFarland and his friends, and this time I have no choice than to cut ties with them forever. Oh my. Really? What did they do that made you, your gang and us cheer girls despise them? Well. To start things off, remember we heard about them in 2020. But that isn't the point there. The point is that Jordan McFarland thinks that he is the smartest person in this entire world towards everyone, and he doesn't let anyone get a chance to win as well. For Alexis Bird, she has no sense of purpose at all. She, just like her boyfriend, she brags to be the best and richest person in this entire world. And for Ellen Leonard, she is totally brainwashed like she totally brainwashed us and our gangs to get into deep trouble by calling all of us object heads in which people got into that trend until 2022. Now, I'm going to be talking about Jordan's, Alexis's and Ellen's other friends, Holly Long, Jason Singer, Laura Newman, Michael Warner, Morgan Dawson, Rachel Bradshaw and the Porter twins who go by the name of Ty and his brother Carter, the worst and the sickening people in town, just like Jordan McFarland, Alexis Bird and Ellen Leonard. They say that they're a goddamn so-called richest people in the world to make Cecile Bernard the richest girl by brainwashing her, and they wanted her and everyone treat them like a damn royal king and queen and not even hate them. Not to mention that they were all the whole reason why Timothy and his wife Courtney and Cecile were harassing them non-stop, and they all brainwashed both Timothy and Cecile to make them do so to all of us. Oh my fucking god. Are you really kidding me? I can't believe the Randolph Valley troublemakers have backstabbed us for no goddamn reason. But what about their behavior? And worst of all, they were the only main reason why we were caring way too much about them. And they never wanted to leave us alone for God's and Pete's sakes. Wow. Just wow. I'm honestly shocked to hear this mess and fiasco about them. I cannot believe they betrayed all of us cheer girls and the Molly gang for no damn reason. So, my only option is to cut ties with them, hate them and stay away from them forever. I know Victoria. That's why I'm no longer friends with those Mary Sues anymore, and they must be given a lot of serious karma for life. We need to grab our friends to have a serious talk with them. You're right Molly. Jordan McFarland, Alexis Bird, Ellen Leonard, Jason Singer and the rest of the Randolph Valley troublemakers will wish they never got away to begin with, just before they brainwashed all of us. Let's bring our friends from our different groups and one person will find the Randolph Valley troublemakers and bring them here to us. Well, well, well. Jordan McFarland and Alexis Bird. 
I am really crossed with all of you. I cannot believe you guys would have caused way too much fiasco and ditched your online detention. What in Pete socks is wrong with you these days? That's it. I have no choice than to expel you and to cut ties with you at this school permanently. The rest of your friends at Randolph Valley High will also get the same fate as much as both of you. We are going to notify all of your parents about what you have done, and they will be very pissed off with the both of you and the rest of your friends. So you must be Mrs. Denner, the headmaster of Randolph Valley High School. That's awesome. I know right. I didn't even know it was you. Anyways, why are you here? I am here to pick up the Randolph Valley troublemakers because they will be getting serious karma by us cheer girls and the Molly gang. Go ahead Melody Anvil. The rest are with the principal of this school. I know that you have autism as an excuse, and I understand now. How did you know that I have autism? Well, my autism says that you made it very charming of you. Thanks. Will you take them to have serious karma because I had also gave them as well for what they did at school? No problem Mrs. Danner. My autism and I will do our best to give Jordan, Alexis and the rest of the Randolph Valley troublemakers a bad taste of their own medicine and karma. Let's go Jordan and Alexis. Both of you and the rest of your friends are going to be in hot water by us cheer girls and the Molly gang for what you guys have done. Finally. Thanks for inviting us Victoria and Molly and for telling us about the dark story of Jordan McFarland and his nasty friends of Randolph Valley. Our pleasure Penelope. Um, guys. Why are you furious and very cross with us? Well, we'll tell you why we are very crossed and furious with the four of you and the rest of the Randolph Valley troublemakers. It's because Molly Peterson and her sister told all of us the dark story about the Randolph Valley troublemakers. What? What do you mean our dark truth? And what did we even do this time? Don't even mess with us Alexis. We've already know all about why they've been telling us about the dark true colors of the Randolph Valley troublemakers, and after what we all heard, we are so betraying and turning against all of you and we are so not friends anymore. Yeah. When my sister Victoria was walking to me, I told her how much bullshit you guys have been doing since two years ago when you guys brainwashed us to get us into lots of trouble. And when she told me all about your worst and sickening behaviors, I was so stunned and shocked that I had to detest you Randolph Valley troublemakers permanently. Exactly. That's why I came to you so that the cheer girls, the Molly gang, Rebecca Om, um, Amy Ira, I'm a Ravity Mad Hugh Vanthi, I'm a Ravity Sanders, Lama Gravely and Eloise Wilson and I could confront you guys and the rest of the Randolph Valley troublemakers permanently and tell you guys all about the truth. To start things off, like Molly said, you Jordan McFarland, you think that you are the smartest person in this entire world towards everyone, and you don't let anyone get a chance to win as well. Just because you're the first male leader of Randolph Valley doesn't mean that you are perfect, nobody is. We all mess up you know. And speaking of smart person, you Alexis Birdhead also did the same thing like your boyfriend does, and you will want to be of him since you always win. And we have heard from a lot of people that you have no sense of purpose whatsoever at all. And Ellen Leonard, we know this is over with. But when you started the object heads term and when you started calling all of us object heads, those terms were way out of control and that everyone agreed to hop onto these trends. But thank God this ended last year, even though we all improved ourselves. But seriously Ellen, you should be blamed and ashamed for all of this. And to start the worst and sickening part Jason Singer, do you think that you're a quote unquote richest singer in the world as well as Holly and the rest of the Randolph Valley troublemakers? Wow. That is the stupidest, sickening, disgusting and the worst thing, not to mention that you wanted everyone to consider you as a motherfucking king in this world. It's like you wanted all of us to praise you like one. And Jordan, Alexis, Ellen, and Jason, I do not even know if you guys even realize this, but did you guys know the reason why Cecile, Timothy and Courtney kept on harassing you guys? Because you guys couldn't leave us alone. You guys should call the police on them. But instead, you guys were beefing and horsing around about them, which is exactly why they were harassing you guys, 
even though they all are no longer doing it anymore. And to explain something about Rachel Bradshaw, Laura Newman, Morgan Dawson, Holly Long and the rest of the Randolph Valley troublemakers, they're just as bad as you guys are. And we should actually know the fact that Laura and Rachel use autism as excuses, just like Melody Amble last year, and this year and beyond, she's commanding what her autism says, even though she and Dylan of the Flying Eagles both have autism. Laura and Rachel also cry like babies over everything, and Morgan and Holly are just sickening and despicable to us, just like the Porter twins, Michael Warner and Victor Bryant. And Jordan, your girlfriend Alexis is acting just like you. You and Alexis basically treat yourselves like gods and goddesses and this is so totally out of freaking balance. I'm glad we all are no longer trusting all of you Randolph Valley troublemakers, because we cheer girls in the Molly gang are improving our behaviors, considering the TW that all of you were the main reason why we're brainwashed by all of you every single night and day to make us get into deep trouble big time. There will be very big serious consequences and karma that we all are giving you, as a revenge for what all of you Randolph Valley troublemakers have done to us. You guys will be banned from our dance parties, birthdays, holidays and more parties for the rest of your pathetic lives. We will also keep you away and out of our big group made by both Molly Peterson of the Molly Gang and Penelope Taylor of the Cheer Girls in which we all are improving our behaviors as of right now and beyond. Everyone will turn against you guys no matter what and you guys will lose all of your friends for life. And if we think that we are giving you guys any birthday wishes, we're sorry, but that will never happen anymore. And we'll replace you guys with the Rainbow Maples, the former Midnight Meps, the Tyler Crew and the Brandon Mates also known as the Brandon Gang. Oh, just like the Midnight Meps, we've also left the Fantastic Forces, or the Cure Forces, because they are just sickening to us. They wanted to be like Mary Sue's and Entitled Karens and they are pieces of trash such as you guys. Not to mention that you guys and the rest of the Randolph Valley troublemakers went on a crime spree and joined in with Trip and his gang. Have you already lost your fucking minds right now? Don't even tell because you guys have. See Jordan, Alexis, Ellen and Jason, we are not just cutting ties with you guys, but we are also cutting ties with the Porter twins, Rachel, Holly, Michael, Victor, Laura and Morgan, and the same applies to the Fantastic Forces, and we will have all the fun without you guys of Randolph Valley anymore. And we will also replace you guys with the Tyler Koo, the Brandon Mates, the former Midnight Meeps, the Cultural Squad and the Rainbow Maples. I cannot fucking believe this bullshit that you cheer girls and the Molly Gang have given us. How could you guys betray all of us for no goddamn reason? I thought that we all are friends, and this is how the shit is going to end. I agree with Jordan. You cheer girls and the Molly gang know that I'm the strongest richest singer in the world, and you guys cannot unfriend all of us of the Randolph Valley troublemakers. I'm sorry Jordan, Alexis, Ellen and Jason. We all are not supporting or listening to you guys or the rest of the Randolph Valley troublemakers anymore. This is what you guys are meant to do and we all know it as of right now. You guys are the biggest mistake and you guys are so disgraceful to the whole society. You guys have got to be kidding us right now. You guys are a complete piece of shit that don't give a shit about us anymore you sons of bitches. I agree. And Melody, since the headmaster of Randolph Valley High School expelled us by you, your cheer girls crew and the Molly gang, and since you made us cry forever, how about you can fall down the steps and be an autistic baby hippie because you are a piece of shit with no life you fucking bastard. <laughs> You know what? That is the last fucking straw. We are so beating you guys and we are also cutting ties with you guys forever by pepper spraying all of you. What's with all of the nonsense? And why are you guys crossed with us? Don't play dumb on us Michael, Victor, Rachel, Ty and Carter, Holly, Laura and Morgan. We have also heard the dark story about Jason Singer, Ellen Leonard, Alexis Bird and Jordan McFarland. And on top of it, you guys are not off the hook either. I have to agree with each Inca. 
Molly Peterson had already told us the dark story and the dark true colors of you guys taking us chick girls and the Molly gun way too much and this is sickening to us. You guys absolute disgust all of us. I know this is getting out of hands for you guys, but did you guys know that object head turns are strictly forbidden by law? It may have been funny back then, but now, it's no longer funny anymore. And Rachel and Laura, this autism excuse is already sickening to Melody Amble. She has autism more than you. We've all mess up sometimes, but we cheer girls and the Molly gang led the same blood as us. And Holly, Ty, and Michael, you guys are proven guilty. But that's no reason to just go as far as brainwashing us like that so that you guys can get into lots of trouble. You guys, Jordan, Alexis, Ellen and Jason are not friends with us anymore. That is why we all are cutting ties with you guys along with Jordan, Alexis, Jason and Ellen forever because you guys are a big Mary suit to the whole society. You guys have to be kidding us right now. I thought that we are friends, and this is how all of you treat us. Yeah. I don't even know why you guys had to betray us for no damn reason at all. I mean, we've been friends like over four years and a half, and then this finally happens. Well guess what? All good things end. Oh and by the way, looks like you Randolph Valley troublemakers are all raging like entitled Karens, Kens and Mary Sue's just because of our betrayal. Get over it, right now. Hell no. But let us remind you, betrayers need a lot of karma, especially since we've been friends for over a year or more. Nice try, but you guys are the ones that'll get karma, not us cheer girls or the Molly gang anymore, because we all are improving our behaviors for good and for real this time. I've got superpowers, and you guys cannot do anything to destroy it. You guys do not have any power anymore. The damage has already been done and you guys should know better by then. And so that with under the way, we all are cutting ties with you guys forever, and there is no chance of being friends forever. And we all are making this clear and permanent so that we will all tell you. Listen to us Jordan, Alexis, Michael, Ellen, Victor, Holly, Rachel, Ty and Carter, Jason, Laura and Morgan. We are permanently ending our friendship for good and we are cutting ties with all 12 of you, forever. Now to kick some booties on all 12 of you once and for all. Come on guys. Let's kick some booties on the Randolph Valley troublemakers once and for all. You said it Timothy. And now for the taste of your own sake and medicine, my autism is now banishing all of you to the Shadow Realm. Finally. Wow Melody Amble, thanks for picking up Jordan and his Randolph Valley friends at Randolph Valley High School, and thank you and the cheer girls and the Molly gang for giving them lots of karma for what they have done to all of us. We are really impressed with all of you cutting ties with the Randolph Valley troublemakers because they all are a big disgrace to the society. And Penelope and Molly, that was a neat idea of having the cheer girls and the Molly gang to have a perfect improving mom sentimental group, which is the cheer Molly girls and the family gang. I love that idea so much. Me too. And I also got off the phone from the Randolph Valley troublemakers parents, and they've already disowned them for good and they are finally cutting ties with them as well. For this, all of you are now ungrounded, forever. We can all celebrate as a one big gigantic family all together. But what about the cheer skanks and the destiny girls? You know I have a feeling that the cheer skanks are going to be disowned once and for all, and I also talked with the destiny girls parents, and they all said they are now grounded for extreme life. And so with all that under the way, let's party for the destiny girls, the cheer skanks and the Randolph Valley troublemakers demises, together and forever. I'm glad that they are no more.